Before we, we start talking about the Commission mm -hmm. for um, Aquaterra, I'd quite like to go back a bit and um, go actually as far back as third year, um, because I, be I believe that it was in third year that what we see now really began to take shape and the journey that you've gone on since third year has been an interesting one. But Something happened in third year, this, uh, you were searching for a form. Um, do you want yeah. to try and recount what you can remember of what happened? Um, yeah, I remember I was really lost with my practice. I um, was trying to paint and mix media uh, using some ropes, resin, paint, different applying technique and uh, I wasn't sure where I'm going with all this. That was the hardest year for me, yeah. to be honest. And I really into painting, but then I have to try different stuff which I don't really like. But at some point, I liked it because some revealing sort of uh, through the mixing and trying things, I discover things. Mm -hmm. Well, I try to treat at this moment painting as a drawing, pretty much. That's how I do. Yeah. <clears throat> a dry brush technique and just almost rubbing and scratching with the paint sometimes yeah. that's getting very flat effect on the painting. Or yeah, this is just a flow of painting pretty much. I, because I paint fast and I don't like to over made anything on the images so I quickly move to another one and then create another one because I've got during the process of painting one pa painting <laughs> um, I've got some idea for another one, which I quickly move. And sometimes I like to also come back to produce one. It's, it's like linking through the, through the painting process and yeah. the images. Yes, it's very important when you know where to stop, just to not overmade anything or ruin an image. But that's also the weakness as well, because you might not made not enough on an image. But you need to know where is this, uh, the right moment to leave it. Yeah, I'm kind of getting more confident with this. I paint more, I develop more. Pretty much second year started of, I've been interested about uh, waste, sort of human-made objects been thrown out and things like that. Third year, even more intense about all this waste. And finally, fourth year, I would say, was when I made a selection of waste where I start to interest about electronics as the most, like the fastest growing uh, yeah. waste these days. I get this idea on second year when I remember the radio I paint, the back of the radio, and I see all these uh, old parts like transistors and the lamps and stuff like that inside it. I, I thought it's gonna be a good idea to show something that is inside of the waste almost. When the, Everything goes digital now and uh, everything is happening fast. I think that's coming through the process of sculpting and uh, f from the sculptures I made, I work on them with photography, drawing and finally I combine everything into a painting. So it's, uh, it's some processes involved in my painting practice which is uh, making wee sculptures and then take them to photographic studio, do uh, some, just cast dramatic hard light on them to get high contrast and then I, I can scale them up, make them bigger or smaller. The process of painting landscape, I sometimes just um, reverse the image upside down, which is almost like a recycle. When I find the shapes, uh, when I, when I turn upside down, I see like different shapes. Then I turn upside down back. Um, um, sometimes I'm holding the sculpture of electronics bound with uh, rope and just find the shapes and just paint what I see on it just to transfer into sort of landscape. It's sort of vision of what could happen next but it's just my but the subject is kind of close, in, it's an industrial subject here, which I like. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's why I've been chosen through my work. Um, the uh, 
people from Aquaterra, they like my work, um, which is kind of close with what they do. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's kind of dark imagery. They like this sort of sinister background of the images. When they go down to the this rig legs, is everything is is not nice. You know, <laughs> it's, it's dark. It's uh, you get claustrophobia and um, it's danger. You know, to work there is danger environment. So I, I like I like the fact of it. I, it's almost like inside of human being. All this is like pipes. It's it's like uh, it suggests almost uh, like veins or the human heart. Um, can, uh, the most important in human body, let's say. But you don't see any humans, any workers on the image, right. which is only the heart can uh, symbolize that. So um, just under, it's obviously under it's a great deal of pressure as well. Yeah. You've got these <laughs> valves, which are hissing. A bit of steam coming out there, and uh, <laughs> um, this needs to be fixed or something like that. It's, uh, that's it the isn't idea. quite perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. may occur. It's something happening there. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, I try to get this feeling of this is actually working, but it's not the, in a perfect state. Other painting we have on the wall here mm -hmm. is um, you were awarded uh, a place in RSA. the RSA New Contemporary Show in February uh, next year, um, and you've made one of the paintings already. You, I believe you're making a, a suite of paintings. I think it was half at six. You were yeah, about minimum it. six, up to eight, six maybe to maybe eight. more if I have more time if I manage to. But yeah, it's a uh, carry on extending idea we've been speaking before. It's, uh, but I like the fact again with the human heart. And uh, the center of the image. This, Yeah. yeah. Um, um, all this landscape has been sort of created with, uh, based on the circuit boards, which is electronics. All these shapes are kind of. Have, have sort of electronic touch into it. Really? It looks kind of natural, but it's uh, it's mixed between nature and kind of human being. What what human being? Um, so it's been embedded into this landscape, all that electronics and stuff like that. Um, even on the sky, you can see the lines kind of break. It. Yeah. It's sort of cables almost falling out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't like to. Yeah, I don't really like to put any figures uh, in my images. Just would like to work with what, let's call this figures create, um, but they're not the main subject. Um, all between, all, all is like the passage between humans and the nature, and what's left over. That's kind of the idea, I would say. Okay, well, thanks very much, Thomas. No problem. And, uh, good luck with the NSA. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it just to uh, really try to do my best, what I can do. Good. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good show. Hopefully. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.